the thing that I remember the most clearly was how scared I was to go anywhere in our car. Some of the advice that I hear given a lot of times in the autism community to parents is how important it is to keep going out and taking your kids out and doing things and I feel like this is really good advice and really important advice but at the same time looking back on when Maggie was smaller and Patrick was a baby when I would say it was probably around when Maggie was two Patrick was a newborn to like when he was probably close to two so when she was close to four and that would make Sadie from four to six we were definitely just in this space in life or season in life whatever you want to call it when doing a lot of things felt really really impossible for us so I hear that advice and I mean we are constantly out doing things and taking Maggie places and taking Tessie places and going to things and it's not that I don't think that that's good because I do think it's good I do think that it's important I just also recognize that sometimes you're in survival mode and that is what I want to talk about today. For us, the big issue, or for me, I should say for me the big issue was this came about when Paul was in law school. It would have been his 2L year, so his second year at law school, his third year in law school, maybe like mostly his second and third year in law school that were probably the toughest years for me as a parent in terms of going out and doing anything. He was studying all the time and at school all the time and when he wasn't he was working and so it was me and the kids and May hadn't yet been diagnosed. She was diagnosed close to the end of when he was in law school and the thing that I remember the most clearly was how scared I was to go anywhere in our car. It was because I was so afraid that if I let go of Maggie that she was going to get away from me when we were getting into the car and that she was going to get hit by a car pulling into a space next to us. And that was something that I would like lie awake at night and worry about. I remember laying in bed and going over different ways of getting the kids into their car seats so that she wouldn't be able to get away from me when I was loading them in. And this was when we had our old car, it's not when we had our current van, it was a 1999 Chrysler Town & Country, it did not have the automatic doors. If we had the automatic doors this wouldn't have been an issue, but we didn't, and so it was a big issue. And I couldn't really, I couldn't close or open the doors from the inside, they were like big and heavy and I couldn't do it while holding on to a toddler and holding an infant in my hands and first it was that Patrick was too little and then it was like I either had a crawling baby that didn't realize that he could toddle out of the car and then I had Maggie who was actively just trying to get away all of the time she would actively at that point just elope from anywhere constantly so if I did let go of her there was a good chance she was gonna be dashing out that door and just going because everywhere we were every day Anytime I let go of her, she eloped 100% of the time. If we were at a park, she eloped. If we were in a store and I let go of her, she eloped. Parking lot, eloped. Next to a street, eloped. Every place that we were. I mean, I think you get the point. And so it was really hard. And we lived in a little house in the city and it had a little yard and at least it had a yard. I mean, it, it could have been worse. But at that point what I did was I pretty much walked everywhere. We got, we had some good strollers and I avoided driving as much as possible and we would walk to the zoo which was like three miles from our house and three miles back. We walked to the science museum which was like two miles there, two miles back. Sometimes I would even walk to speech therapy which was six miles there and six miles back because I didn't want to have to load her into her car seat because I was so nervous about the parking lot situation and how I would get her and Patrick both into their seats. But it was a season. Eventually Patrick got big enough that he could be trusted to sit in you know, stand there next to his car seat or sit in his car seat and climb it to himself. And I mean, that was pretty early. That was like he was a toddler and he was didn't want to be away from me, so he stayed close. And as soon as we got to that point, it was fine. And eventually, by the time James came along, Sadie was big enough that Sadie could actually help me. I never felt comfortable having her hold on to Maggie because Maggie's really, really strong, but she's always been able to help with the boys and help with Tessie just for, you know, a second. She is a huge help. So at this point, I have five kids and some of them are the same ages, two, four, six. 
8 and 10 are their ages and I don't worry about the things that I worried about when we had three kids and I was extremely stressed out and she does still try to elope she would still take off in a parking lot if she was given the chance so that hasn't really changed what's changed is really just our strategies and that I'm not in a season where I have too few hands I guess. <laughs> I'm at a point where Sadie can either hold Tessie's hand or she can at least hold Tessie's hand until I get around the side of the car and pick Tessie up and hold Maggie's hand and get them both inside which is extremely helpful but whenever I see people talking about how important it is to be out all the time doing things I always kind of look back on that season in our life and I just think of how we got through it but for a time it really wasn't that possible. It just wasn't safe and we did what we had to do. We got to places we had to go to. I mean there were times that I had to drive and so I did drive regularly I and mean, several times a week I still had to figure out how to get them places and I would stress about it and lay awake about it and worry about it but we would get there and make it work. But it was kind of scary in the way that eloping is always kind of scary. And really that is one, one way that those automatic doors that open up with my key are absolutely a huge blessing. Without those things would be a lot harder. I mean I could still make it work now but it would just be a lot more difficult to load everybody in the car when I'm taking all five kids somewhere by myself. It wouldn't put us off going any place now. So I guess what I'm saying is don't be too hard on yourself and beat yourself up if you are in that phase right now and hopefully it gets easier for you too the way that it got easier for us and hopefully it is just one of those seasons that things change and eventually going out and doing things again becomes something that fits back into the picture. Anyways, that's it for today. If you liked this video we'd love it if you'd give it a thumbs up and if you're interested in all things autism we'd love it if you'd hit subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!